Hi, and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. It's January 2018, so we thought today we would take a look back at theater over the year 2017, part of last year's Tony Awards and the beginning of this year's Tony Awards season. Enjoy. Call, sir. What are we going to do the rest of our lives? Just stay home, watch the parade go by, amuse ourselves with this glass menagerie, darling, eternally play those worn-out phonograph records your father left as a painful reminder of him, or we won't be having a business career. No, we've given that up because it gave us nervous indigestion. So what is there left but dependency all of our lives? I know so well what becomes of unmarried women who are not prepared to occupy a position. I've seen such pitiful cases in the South. Barely tolerated spinsters living off the grudging patronage of sister's husband or brother's wife, stuck away in some little mouse trap of a room, encouraged by one in-law to visit another. Little bird-like women without any nest eating the crust of humility all of their lives. Is that the future we've mapped out for ourselves? Because I swear it's the only alternative I can think of. It's is not a very pleasant alternative, is it? I don't want to be alone. That's all in the past. This world's waited long enough. I've come home at last. And this time will be bigger and brighter. your social life. We're sitting at the bar. 
and we're just talking. And he's like, my mom too, she wouldn't ever. But he's also Jewish, not that that matters, but we can talk about our mothers and it's not a buzzkill. <laughs> Hey, Keeks. What? Can I have the sticker on the apple? Why? I just need something that will like touch me and cling to me right now. General, you can stay here with us tonight if you want. No, no. You have done too much already. Okay. <laughs> Long ago, a group of musicians came to Israel from Egypt. You probably didn't hear about it. It wasn't very important. <laughs>
two or three days afterwards, after you came to see me, I phoned to offer you the money. Phoned where? Here. I spoke to Dad. I called and he told me that you joined the force. And I said he, he mustn't permit you to do a thing like that. I said you had a fine mind and with a little luck you could amount to something in science. That it was a terrible waste, etc. And his answer was, Victor wants to help me. I can't stop him. Let me understand this. Did you tell Dad that you were ready to give me the money? There are conversations, aren't there? And looking back, it's impossible to explain why he said or didn't say certain things. I'm not defending it, but I would like to be understood if that's possible. I figure you maybe got a few nice pieces. Not that the rest can't be sold, but it'll take a year, year and a half, and that, for me, is a big bet. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, let's forget it. What are you jumping? What are you in or out? <laughs> How do I know if I'm in or out? Look, with this furniture, the problem is the average person will take one look at this furniture and make him very nervous. Now then you're starting again. I'm not bargaining with you. Well, why will make him nervous? Because he knows it's never going to break. Oh, come on. I Have a little mercy. My boy, you yeah. don't understand the psychology. <laughs> if it wouldn't break, there's no more possibilities. Look, look, look. Here, you know, get this table. Look, look, look. You can't move it. A man sits down to such a table, he knows not only he's married, he's got to stay married. <laughs> I sat night after night watching our story play through my head. One where she returns at last to my arms. For I have known and been loved by the perfect woman. I don't give a shit about Trump, just like I didn't give a shit about Obama or Bush or any of them. I'm a fucking businessman. I go whichever way the wind blows. Presidents are assets. They exist to be bought, sold, and managed. <laughs> If you're not a Democrat when you're young, you don't have a heart. If you're not a Republican when you're old, you don't have a brain. Right. <laughs> My Parisian woman, 
Maybe just your wife. I adore you. I adore you more. On an island called Newfoundland, there's an airport. And next to it is a town called Gander. Tonight we honor what was last, but we also commemorate what we found. Of course I Maybe do. Maybe once you Right angry. now I feel angry. Right now you're angry. You're damn right I am. No, I don't believe that you are angry, that you're in it, that you're inside the feeling of feeling angry. I think you're just outside of it looking at it like, oh, there's some interesting thing. You don't act. Constipated. Oh, shit. After all the problems I've already fixed for you, you want me to fix this too? Is that what you're really saying? you, Nora. <laughs> you. You have zero gratitude. I raised your kids. You should be coming in here. First words out of your mouth should have been, thank you, Anne Marie. Thank you for abandoning your own life and your own child and raising mine so I can go off and do my little thing. Dishes. Who can take tomorrow? Who can take tomorrow? Dip it in a dream. Dip it in a dream. Separate the sorrow and collect up all the cream. The candy man. The candy man. Oh, the candy man can. The candy man. When a boy like you looks to the sky. At the stars and planets passing by If the boy's like me He'll want to fly Into the stratosphere And as we both rise into those skies Your future That's why I brought you to see the view from here.
was the man who has opened the door to our future.